I'm gonna share with you guys how you can get high speed sync strobe photos during the day when the sun is hot and you wanna use your prime lenses, but you also wanna use a flash to get that creative photography that you might have seen around that I absolutely love, that I feel like kind of helps me stand out from a lot of the other photographers who get just natural photos. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about what high speed sync is all about and how you can get that signature look. Let's go into it. What's up guys, Myung here from Camera to Freedom and this episode I'm gonna share with you guys on how to get that high speed sync look. The sun is right behind me and you wanna use a prime lens, right? Like an 85 millimeter f1.8, 50 millimeter, 35 millimeter. Um, you can't typically, normally use a flash because now your shutter is at, let's say a thousand, two thousand, and then you have to make sure that your flash is fast enough or has the ability to high speed sync with your camera setting. And luckily nowadays, a lot of the flashes out there have high speed sync. So just kind of make sure when you buy your flashes that your flash has high speed sync. The flash that I always recommend, which is Godox or Flashpoint from Adorama, has the high speed sync. From their smallest speed light to their biggest flash, they all got them. So that means that even though your camera is in setting 1000 shutter, that this flash will go fast enough to make sure it lights them up. And then having the sun behind them, creating this silhouetted shadow on the front. But now you're gonna be able to get that off awesome high speed sync look. So I'm gonna tell you all about that. The very basic is of course, putting this strobe on top of the tripod. That's what I used to do for a couple of years. I actually enjoyed it because it was so light and easy to carry. The downfall of it is that it causes harsh lines. So if you were to get a wide angle photo, I actually enjoy using flash without softbox because it is stronger. Obviously being a speed light, it's not as strong as those big flashes out there, right? So, but this is strong enough to get that strobe look that you're looking for, but it does create harsh lines. So once you start getting closer to your couple, then that's when you have to start using soft boxes. Then you get that soft professional look that everybody loves. And instead of using those expensive flashes to get that look, you could just do it with a speed light. And I'm gonna give you guys a recommendation. So I do have a little soft box right here. It's really cool. It, it pops down so you could put it away and it already comes with a handle and this has a little slot for you to put your flash into it. So you get to just put your flash in there and lock it down and that's how you get that soft look. And then just share with you guys how we get this look so that way you guys could get the same look and just take your photography business to that level that you've always wanted to do. And we got uh, Natty and Sean right here. All right guys, so if I could actually have you guys stand right there and we're gonna use this soft box right over here. Let's go ahead and put this up. And Michaela, we're gonna take turns um, holding this light just cause it's so windy. And then I'm gonna take photos and you're gonna take photos and we're gonna keep going back and forth and things like that, okay? Let's do it. Just to let you know, the um, speed light typically isn't that strong, right? You're, for high speed scenes, you want a big strong flash to pull that powerful flash off when the sun is out because you wanna kind of match the sun power. So speed light isn't that uh, typically strong. So we, we're gonna put that as close as possible. I got the uh, prime lens, 85 millimeter, 1.8. And then Michaela has a 50 millimeter. So that way you guys can see the difference between those two lenses. Okay, so the first rule, the first rule uh, is that we want to use the light against the sun. So if the sun is behind them, you want the sunlight, you want this flash to be directly in the opposite direction. That means that if the sun is right behind them, instead of the flash coming off to the right side, we're gonna put it on the left side so that way it matches and they're just hitting each other because the sun will light up their back and give them a nice little rim light on the back side. but this will light up the front, uh, lighting their whole front side up for a good, nice photo. Okay, so right over here, First off, I would love for you guys to hold each other. I want to see how you guys hold each other normally. Uh, normally. <laughs> <laughs> good, okay, good. We're gonna start off with this and then I'm gonna pose you guys a little bit and so on, okay? A good rule of thumb is that if you're not sure about what setting to get, you could actually put your camera on aperture mode, turn off the flash and take a quick photo. ISO at 160 and I'm gonna take a shot. And then on the camera on the top, it'll kind of tell me like the shutter is at 8,000 and then the aperture is at 1.8. So it's a good starting point. So we're gonna bring the ISO down to 100 to kind of help out with the sun. 
and then now we're gonna go to manual mode and change the setting so that we could get a similar look. There you go. One, two, three. Did the flash go off by chance? I think so. Nope, that's because I didn't turn on the flash. Alright, flash is on. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, here we go. It's one, two, three. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple of different poses and then I'm gonna have Michaela pose you. I want you guys to hold each other one more time, same same pose. Natty, I want you to break apart a little bit, bring your hand in and put it on his chest. Yep, good. The wedding ring is visible. Luckily, Sean is so tall that you could lean on him and hold him. Sometimes when I have couples <laughs> where the girl's taller, I'm like, hmm, you might have to lean like this, but this is perfect. Okay, good. And he gets to lean on his chest, perfect, just like that. You could all right, Michaela, I'm gonna have you shoot around. Yes. I'm gonna turn my flash off. Okay. You give him a little bit of guidance if you like and just... Okay, so I guess we'll work off of that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have you take one small step closer to me and then put this hand just like right on his shoulder and then lean your hand into it so you can get his face and get your ring. And then put your... There you <laughs> go. <laughs> oh. I, I keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gopher over there that I was watching earlier. Oh, really? <laughs> trying to bait us. Are you on aperture 1.8? Um, yes. Cool. One point, she's on one point, she got 1.4? Yes, let's go 1.4, yeah. let's go. Okay. Let's go. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. High oh, speed sync photos. Oh, so good. I like that. <laughs> so that good. Dress doing your <laughs> Prom style photo looking good. And this, let me have you guys turn a little bit more. Good. That way your face level. And also, Sean, uh, I would like for you to kind of come in a little bit so that way you're not far from your face. Yep, exactly. Your face is kind of close to each other. Good, right there. Perfect. One, two, three. Excellent. Couple more. Thank you guys so much for sticking around if you watched it all the way to the end. Thank you so much for the support and I will see you next time. Alright, let's go! Woo! Yes!